，搞笑，搞掂，搞错，搞搞震。Gao is a useful little word for many different occasions in daily Cantonese conversation. Come and check it out with me. When you're learning a new language, it's always handy to pick up some essential words or phrases. One very common word in Cantonese is gao. Gao means to do or produce something. It also means to disturb when used in a negative way. It sounds similar to gao, as in ha gao, which is a very popular Cantonese dim sum dish. You can find the word "gao" in many Cantonese phrases. For example, "gao dim" directly translation is "to do okay." Here, "dim" means okay or great in Cantonese. You can say "gao dim" after the job is completed and that you are quite happy with the result. In a sentence, you can say "the project you gave me is finally done." "Gao dim" is the same as saying "mission accomplished" in English. If you find a job that's rather difficult to handle, you can say "nan gao," which means difficult to do. Nan means difficult. In a sentence, you can say, "This project is quite nan gao. I think I might need more time." The opposite is yi gao. Yi means easy. Yi gao. You can say, "The monthly report is quite yi gao. I think I can get it done this afternoon." You can use gao in a greeting too. Gao mei ye directly means to do what. Mei ye means what. It means what are you doing? Gao mei ye. But remember, this is a very casual greeting. You use it only with people you know quite well. Or maybe not your boss, or in any formal setting. One very interesting local slang phrase is "gao bin fo." Here, "bin fo" means what subject. If said in a casual manner with a smile like this, "gao bin fo" is the same as saying "what's up." But when you say with a slightly angry tone, "gao bin fo," it means what are you trying to do, or what you're plotting to show that you are unhappy or angry at someone doing something dodgy behind your back. If you find someone making trouble, horsing around, making a commotion. Or simply messing about, you can use the phrase "gao gao zhan." Direct translation is "make make shaking." Zhan means shaking or destabilizing. In a sentence, you can say "stop gao gao zhan and go back to work now." On a more positive note, there is "gao xiu," which means to make laughter. When someone is trying to gao xiu, that means they are trying to make people laugh. You can also use it as an adjective on someone who's funny. You can say "nei hou gao xiu," that means you are very funny. Nei is you. Hou means very. Nei hou gao xiu. On a more serious tone, there is the phrase gao chao. Direct translation is to make a mistake. Chao means mistake. In a sentence, you can say, "I'm sorry, ngao gao chao." Ngao is I. Ngao gao chao means I have made a mistake. Okay, let's recap. Gao dim, mission accomplished. Nan gao, difficult to do. Yi gao, easy to do. Gao mei ye, what are you doing? Gao bin fo, what's up? Or what are you plotting? Depending on the tone, gao gao zhan, messing about, gao xiu, being funny, gao chao, to make a mistake. Okay, gao dim, mission accomplished. Now you can go out and practice Cantonese loudly and proudly. See you next time.